Hello everyone. Welcome back to ITPK. Today we will learn how to authenticate an IMAP, POP or SMTP connection using OAuth 2.0 for SMTP application server. As Microsoft has deprecated basic SMTP authentication in favor of more secure methods, it's essential for developers and system administrators to adopt this change. Today we will explore how OR 2.0 enhances security and simplifies the authentication process, enabling you to connect to your application seamlessly to email services while protecting sensitive user information. We are going to see the steps on how to authenticate IMAP, POP, or SMTP using OAuth 2.0. You can use the OAuth authentication service provided by Microsoft Intra to enable your application connect with IMAP, POP, or SMTP protocols, access, exchange online in Office 365. To use OAuth with your application, you need to register your application in Microsoft Intra. The first step, the second step, get an access token from a token server. And the third step is authenticate connection request with an access token. And to do that, there are two parts that we will see and we will set up in our video. The first part is setting up app in app registration Microsoft Azure portal or that is now called Intra portal. And the second step, we will use few of PowerShell commands. So for the first step, let's go to Azure app registration. Uh, let me show you from the beginning portal.azure.com and you must be a global administrator to perform these steps. Right. Once you are in Microsoft Azure, you can directly search your app registration. Right. I have already in my recent searches. Let's go to app registration and let's go to new registration. In the new registration section, I want to name it I am a pop OAuth SMTP just to understand it better. You can name it according to your requirement. So uh, I am not going to fill up any other option here and I want to go with app registration here. So it's creating an application for me in the Azure app registration portal. Okay, the app is created with a display name, application ID, object ID, and directory tenant ID. That's perfect. So now uh, we have to copy application ID, object ID, and directory tenant ID for our requirement. And we could provide this value to developers as well so that they could configure SMTP into their applications. So let's go ahead and copy display name, object ID, tenant ID, and directory ID, and application ID. All of these in my notepad. Now in the next step, uh, let's go ahead and create a secret, right? So let's go to manage, and here we have the option of certificates and secrets. We are creating certificate and secret for our this application and let's enter the name. Okay, I've entered the name and you could pick here any time period. Recommended is 180 days, right? So I want to select 365 days at least one year for this. And let's add this. Scroll a little down and copy this secret value into your notepad to use it later on you can also provide this value to your developers okay and make sure once you create a secret you must note down this value or secret id if needed because the next time you will come here and you will not be able to see this secret id and secret value you have to generate the new one again so now the next step is we have to give api permissions so let's go to api permissions here and uh, let's delete the current permission we have here and go to aid permission in the aid permission section now here once you are request api permission go to api my organization uses here we supposed to give permission for exchange online let's open this 
let's go to application permission so here uh, let's go here and search something access is app i have typed in access is app and i found that imap permission that i need to grant here and for permission we have to select both of these permission and let's click on add permissions now it's adding permissions and we can see permissions are here now and the status is not granted now the next important step is make sure you have clicked on grant admin consent right because we want to grant admin consent for these permission and once we grant admin consent for these permission we will get granted for the organization name here so i have granted this perfect so uh, this part is approximately done like we have created i have in app registration we have uh, copied the required information here directory tenant and everything and we have also consent admin permissions and we have allowed exchange online to imap and pop access as a app from our azure tenant now the next part is the powershell part so in this part we will give access to specific mailboxes for which we want to use smtp for pop or imap please make sure you have opened powershell as an administrator so i have opened powershell as an administrator here now uh, i will go with the commands one by one uh, let me paste them in notepad first uh, the first command here we want to use is install module name azure ad so most probably this tool is installed on my powershell but i will still try in front of you and please note that i will add all the commands in the video description so i can skip these installation commands but i am not skipping these i am trying these one by one so that you will be aware of everything so let me try to install azure ad module here please note that all these commands will be in the video description okay it's asking me do you want to install yes or no i want to select a a mean yes to all right i don't want it to ask me again and again about this so until it's installing the next module we want to install is exchange online management again i think exchange online module is installed but still i will try in front of you here install module name exchange online management let me select a yes to all and it's saying that version exchange online is already installed here at my laptop perfect now the next command we wanna use here is app id tenant id import module and this all command here so in the app id section let's go ahead and copy the app id we have registered in azure app registration if you remember that and the next id we wanna copy here that is tenant id right so let's copy and paste tenant id also here got it so uh, now copy this entire commands and put in powershell right hopefully this will ask us to log in to admin center of office 365 with an administrator account so let's put an administrator account here okay i have entered the administrator account at the password here and i'm going to click sign in hopefully this will sign me in into my administrator account that's very very perfect right this logs me in into administrator account and all the commands are completed which i have entered in powershell now the next step is register the service principal for our application 
So for that, uh, I have copied a few commands here uh, on the notepad. I will add all these commands in the video description, so don't worry about this. So uh, let's go ahead and copy this command and uh, run these in PowerShell as well. Hopefully, this will also ask me to connect to Exchange Online with an administrator account again. So yes, this picks up the same account for me already. So I have again connected to Exchange Online and I have ran that required commands here. So it's still processing, right? And here, let's press enter and commands are completed. We got the principal I map and pop three object ID and application ID down here. Now in the next step, I have to give full access to the application that needs SMTP and that needs access to POP or IMAP. So now in the next step, we have to add mailbox to give permission for SMTP, POP or IMAP. If you want to add more than one mailbox, you can just test this command and you can enter the mailbox IDs here, right? But if I want only one mailbox here for SMTP pop and IMAP. So I will add here a single mailbox, right? So I will add all these code in the video description, right? PowerShell commands. So this could be hidden in my PowerShell as I will not be showing you the mailbox. So let's me replace your email ID with a mailbox and paste in PowerShell. So uh, let me try to paste the command here to give SMTP OAuth permission to this specific mailbox here and press enter. That's perfect. You can see the access right is now full access for the mailbox I have defined here. So that's all about today a quality tutorial about setting up SMTP POP or IMAP using OAuth 2.0, the latest method defined by Microsoft as SMTP old app registration method has deprecated by Microsoft. So we have learned registering an application in Azure first in app registration or that is now called intra ID and the next step we did there by creating secret ID and certificate ID you can say and the next step we gave permissions to API after that step we came to PowerShell and we register application ID and tenant ID right and after that we have ran few commands to enable it from exchange and after that we have ran command to set up principal id in exchange and the last we have done that we have enabled oauth 2.0 for a single mailbox and i have also explained you and showed you that we can register more than one mailboxes for OAuth SMTP. Now, if your developer need to set up any application for SMTP, you could give details to him, including application ID, object ID, and tenant ID, and the last thing is certificate and secret information. That's it about today's quality tutorial. Thanks for watching. Keep watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.